Toby was surprised. Mavis and Thomas had both rushed off very quickly. Now he would have to take the trucks to the coaling plant himself. It was getting late. Toby was worried he wouldn't get to the farm. And he wouldn't get to see the animals. Once Toby had delivered the trucks, he rushed to his last job at Brendan Docks. Perhaps my friend Salty will help me. But as Toby arrived, Salty was rushing towards him. Salty, cried Toby, stop, please. I have to help Cranky unload lots of cargo, puffed Toby. But I'm running out of time. Will you help me? Ah, sorry, Toby, said Salty. But I have an important delivery. This piston rod is too important to wait, mate. Toby felt miserable. He knew deliveries were important, but he thought helping a friend was important too. Neither Mavis, Thomas, nor Salty had helped Toby. And I thought they were my friends, puffed Toby sadly. He would have to move all that cargo on his own. Now he'd never get to the farm. Toby pulled up alongside Cranky. Why are you waiting for? Crank Cranky. I'm here to pick up the cargo, said Toby sadly. The ship's been caught in rough seas, Cranky snapped. The cargo won't be here till morning. Toby was delighted. Now he'd have time to get to the farm, so he raced off. Then Toby saw Henry in a siding. Where are you going in such a hurry? wheezed Henry sadly. Toby told them all about wanting to go to the farm, and all about Mavis, Thomas and Salty. I thought friends helped each other, Toby wheezed, but they were all too busy to help me. That's because they've all been helping me, puffed Henry. Toby was surprised. I broke down, said Henry. So Mavis brought my special coal. Thomas took my passengers and Salty brought me a new piston rod. Toby knew he had made a mistake. Mavis, Thomas and Salty had been helping a friend after all. They were all helping you gasped Toby. Toby felt very silly. Is there anything I can do to help you, Henry? he asked. Henry was surprised. But then you won't get to the farm to see the animals, said Henry. It doesn't matter, said Toby. Helping a friend is much more important. What can I do? Henry asked Toby to take his carriages to Knapford Station. Henry's carriages were very, very heavy. I don't know if I will be able to move them, said Toby, but I'm going to try. Toby coupled up to the carriages. He heaved and hauled and puffed and pulled. At last, Henry's carriages began to move. Henry was very pleased. Thank you, Toby, he called as Toby puffed away. Sorry about your afternoon off. But Toby didn't mind. He was helping his friend, and that was better than an afternoon off any day.